Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Right, let's nip this Dillian White free agent thing in the bud right now because I'm seeing quite a lot of it and I, and I know that a lot of the Eddie Hearn matchroom haters out there, for whatever reason, you, know, you want to hate on a promotional company for giving you the best fights around, I have no idea. But anyway, um, they jump all over this interview that Dillian White had with Fight Hype where it was um, their title at Fight Hype. It was a bit clickbaity, but hey, listen, it's what you do on YouTube, right? Um, but they put in there that free agent Dillian White now, Dillian White is a free agent in the sense of he manages himself. In other words, Matchroom don't manage him. He doesn't have an external company that manages him. He is in the Dillian White business, as he quite plainly said. Uh, but for all the people who jump up and down saying, see, see, he wants to leave Eddie Hearn because Eddie Hearn's a snake. He can't be trusted. He's lowballing him. It's, it's not about that at all. Listen, he's over there in Vegas and he's going to be having some meetings. Meetings with who? We don't know. It could well be Al Heyman PPC. Could well be. OK, uh, but he's over there to watch Pacquiao Broner. Um, we've known that for quite some time. He said that uh, he was going to go over there and watch it. But this doesn't mean he's leaving Matchroom. And to be a free agent, no, he's not a free agent as in his next fight can be anywhere that he chooses. Purely because it's a rolling contract. He confirmed in this interview he's got a rolling contract. Now, Dylan, now he may message me later and say, no, no, you've got it wrong and correct me. OK, but to my knowledge... I've seen rolling contracts, especially in football. You, know, you see, you have uh, managers of football teams and players who are on like um, yearly rolling contracts. Some of them, okay? Especially when they're at the end of their career. But it doesn't have to be the end of their career. They could do it at any point. So a, a yearly annual contract. In other words, you give a one-year notice before you leave. So for Dylan White to have a fight-by-fight -fight rolling contract means his next fight will always be Matchroom until he says otherwise. Or Matchroom tell Dylan White otherwise. So, for example, he just fought Derek Chisora, um, which means if he didn't tell Matchroom, Eddie Hearn, before the Derek Chisora fight that, th that this will be my last fight with you, then his next fight has to be on Matchroom. Does that make sense? So, whatever fight that Dylan White has next will be on Matchroom. But if he wants to leave Matchroom then he needs to tell them before his next fight and say, hey, listen, Eddie, my next fight with you is going to be my last one with you. Likewise, Eddie Hearn could say the same thing to Dylan White. Your next fight with us will be your last one. But everything has to be done before the next fight, if that makes sense. Because if he has the next fight, he must then have another one, if that makes sense, because it's a one-fight rolling contract. Okay, that's what you do. So he is a free agent from that point of view. He only has to give like one fight's notice. Like, like most people, when you work, you have to give a month's notice, right? Or a week's notice or two weeks notice. Or in some cases, three months notice. That's pretty much what a rolling contract is, fight by fight. So again, no, for all the Eddie Hearn haters jump up and down, Eddie Hearn's got to leave Matchroom. Listen, he may well do, but his next fight will be on Matchroom. The one after that could be somewhere else, but he needs to tell Matchroom before his next fight. But him being over there in Vegas to watch the Pacquiao Broner fight, as I said, um, he, that was always going to happen. Um, he said quite a while ago that he, that he wanted to go over there and watch it. But he's going to go over there for some business meetings. It may not be Al Heyman. It may not be PBC. It may not be anything to do with any of that kind of thing. But likewise, it could be. Because he's not signed to DAZN. For example, like Canelo. He signed to DAZN. He can only fight on DAZN. Okay. Dylan White is not in that category. I don't know about Joshua. Did Joshua actually sign something with DAZN? I don't know. I think he signed something that DAZN had first refusal, but Dylan White didn't do that. Okay, so if he was to fight in America or any of his fights here in the UK, he can negotiate. He's the one that decides where the fight will be aired outside the UK. Look at his last fight with Derek Chisora. It was showed on Showtime. Again, yes, we've all seen the Eddie Hearn interviews, and of course, I bought into it as well. But I have, well, I know now that a lot of what Eddie Hearn said there is kind of true, but he has skated over something that was quite relevant to this. Dylan White chose Showtime. Okay, he said, DAZN are not showing my fight. I know this for a fact. Okay, and... The reason for it, I mean, listen, if you guys look at the posters when Chisora and Dylan White 
uh, first announced it on their very first press conference a couple of months before the fight. If you look on the posters, you'll see DAZN on it. But as time was getting a bit closer, DAZN were messing about. So I didn't know why I said, you know what, screw you. Showtime, you want it, you're interested, cool. How much? Excellent, fine, I'll take that. Right, you can show my fight on Showtime. So he decides where his fights are going to be aired outside the UK. Inside the UK must be Sky Sports because so that will be part of the matchroom. If you're uh, fighting on matchroom, it must be Sky Sports, right? Um, but again, he can sign with PBC. So all his fights in future will be on Showtime or will be on Fox. He can appoint Al Heyman as an advisor, but he's still with matchroom. If he was to fight in... America, he can fight on Showtime. He can fight on any network that he chooses. He can fight on his own as well. So he's a free agent in America, but in the UK, as I said, he's got a one year, um, a one fight rolling contract. Again, listen, I'm open to be wrong on this one. I could well be wrong, but my understanding of a rolling contract is your next fight will always be a next one with Matron. That's how it's going to be until you give them notice by telling them, I'm not gonna fight on Matchroom anymore after my next fight. So anyway, I hope that clarifies it. So a lot of the Eddie Hearn haters who are jumping up and down, listen, you're getting excited, you're getting your knickers in a twist over nothing, okay? And if he does sign with um, Al Heyman, cool, why not? He's free to sign with anybody, literally anybody. It's like a look at Joseph Parker. Well, Joseph Parker, he signed with uh, Duco Events. Okay, so anything in New Zealand will be via Duku and David Higgins. But if he was to fight in the UK, he's got a contract that means that he will fight on matchroom fights. If he goes to America, he's got a contract with Top Rank. Unless, of course, that's expired now, as possible. But he could fight on Top Rank with Barbarum. So anyway, um, I hope that clarifies a lot of things. So yeah, drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up and, of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.